we've known for a while that we can create these various forms of experiences in which a user exerts some agency upon a story. What we don't know are any dimensions or criteria by which we can assess those experiences. So my research is into finding out how we can evaluate interactive narratives, what we should be evaluating and providing some sort of practical support for doing that. I'm working in evaluation, looking at how we can evaluate interactive storytelling. Um, Neil is looking at authoring, so he's on the other end of the loop, if you will. So at the beginning you've got sort of Neil stuff with authoring, and then you've got the experience itself, and then at the end you've got the evaluation. So it's been really interesting talking to him about uh, how he's been doing his work, how he's been going about integrating soft things from the world of authoring um, with harder stuff uh, from computer science, which is sort of a similar challenge to the one that's presented in evaluation. And it's been really interesting talking to him about questions of scope to do with his research. It's made me think more about the scope of my research. Um, and I've also been talking to uh, John Truestaff, like I mentioned, who's another guy uh, who's doing really related work. He's working um, with Fatima, um, this nice agent architecture that they use up here at Harriet Watt. Um, and he's been working on context with that. His work's very interesting. And again, he's given me a lot to think about too. I think the main thing that the trip's done for me is made me feel a sense of community which I didn't feel before within, um, within maybe interactive narrative or interactive storytelling or interactive drama or whatever you want to call this research field we're all in. Um, often I feel like I, um, there's only so much bonding you can do with other people at a big event and I'm not great in a large crowd. Uh, so often when I'm at these uh, sort of riders, uh, symposiums, conferences, um, I sort of hang towards the edge of a crowd and I don't talk very much. Uh, being able to really engage deeply with other researchers doing related things rather than this sort of very passive way, which I'm not very good at doing anyway, has uh, really made me realise that there are other people out there who are doing research that's very connected to mine. And there are other people I can talk to about problems that I'm having with my research, which isn't something that I get very much at the university where I'm studying because it's probably an experience that's common to lots of interactive drama researchers. Uh, there just aren't that many of us out there. I'm the only PhD student in my university currently. I don't get to bounce ideas off anyone except my supervisors. A lot of the time when I'm doing my research I get so caught up in my own head that I can't see problems that are staring me in the face. Um, problems to do with uh, the way we build knowledge and problems to do with scope. Uh, and talking to the guys here has really helped me to figure out where to go next with my research, which is something I was kind of floundering with before I came here, to be honest. I would encourage uh, other people to do these visits if you can. Um, I've really had a great week, and I think there are conversations that you can't have within the scope of a conference, um, there, or, or a one-day event like the Riders events, um, a one-day event. Um, there are, there are conversations you can't have within the scope of those one-day events, conversations that sort of grow organically out of sharing experiences and getting to know each other more slowly. And I think that's the sort of um, information that you can build with one of these uh, trips. You can really get to know another researcher, really get to know their research, they can really get to know yours. And with that deep knowledge that you can only get from really chatting to each other for sort of five, six hours a day for a few days, um, you can maybe come up with things to do with each other's research that they hadn't thought of.